Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to review of Whisper Me a Love Song. Now, no one's wearing my My Hero shirt because today is the premiere of season seven of My Hero. But we are not going to be talking about My Hero Academia. We're not going to talk about My Hero. I'm just wearing this because it's the debut of the My Hero Academia, you know. But it doesn't change the fact that it's today's Saturday. It is Yuri Saturday, meaning we're going to be talking about Whisper Me a Love Song. Yes, episode four. Now, these last three episodes of Whisper, Whisper, Me, Whisper Me a Love Song has been one of the greatest, if not one of the most singular Yuri animes to talk to compared to that with Yuri is my job, which, by the way, reference. Now, these three episodes has given us a lot of confessions, a lot of misunderstandings. The first three I've been watching has so many, like, like, oh my gosh, and so many plot twists and so many, like, confessions lead to misunderstandings and misunderstandings lead to confessions and all that thing when it comes to Yuri. If there's one thing we've learned from Yuri animes, and if there's one thing we learn from romance animes, there's always a love triangle. Nine times out of ten, it's always a love triangle. I mean, hell, in Shonen, they have that too. But in a, in a romance vibe, there's always a love triangle, depending on the characters and depending where this goes. This episode, you're talking about, this is, actually, this is why I love Yuri Animes, because the spiciness. It is clearly the spiciness to, to, a, to a Yuri anime. Like, come on, Citrus did it. Bloom Into You did it. Yuri is my job, did it. Soccer with Trick did it. Yuri Yuri did it. Every Yuri anime you have watched, guys, there's always a fucking love triangle. And there's always spiciness going around these days. And like this episode, we got it. So without further ado, I want to get to this episode review of Whisper Me a Love Song Episode 4. Because I'm gonna get into this. Okay, let's start with this. Let's start with this. After last week with Yori and um, Hinami, I mean Himari's confession, you know, taking a step further in their relationship as Himari trying to figure out the definition of the word love. Yori herself has joined the Light Music Club to make a name for herself. Yes, she, she joined the Light Music Club to um, be herself and perform the best song for Himari's sake to crack that skull, to crack that open the heart of her and say, I love you. The, a song that will make her feel more love. Now, we have, now this shows us, you know, Yori's little montage of her practicing her long certain singing. You know, it was all great. All great. I got nothing. I got, I'm not even upset about that. Now they do, now I understand this after school practice, you know, take some times off. Okay. They go take some time off, see each other on the roof, but that doesn't mean to spend time for lunch. Okay. Now, how many of you have watched Yuri Is My Job? How many of you have read Yuri Is My Job? Make no mistake about it. Himari, the reason I bring that up is because Himari is trying to look up for some after-school activities, you know. She's trying to look up some after-school activities because waiting on the roof is going to take forever. So she's like, I need to find an after-school gig. Computer club? No. The anime club, no. But here's the kicker, guys. The anime club had a poster of Yuri is my job. You see what they did there? You see what they did there? Because it's a Yuri anime, they decided to have a poster on their wall in the anime club that has Yuri is my job poster. And for those of you who have not read Yuri is my job or watched it, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. This is a recommendation. This is like an anime recommendation right now. Go watch Yuri is My Job. It is a standard barrier of like two polar opposites and trying to get along. And it's just like Whisper Me a Love Song. Well, technically, I wouldn't call it like that. I mean, I wouldn't compare it. To, I wouldn't compare Yuri is My Job characters to them. But what I'm saying is, in terms of Who's the senpai in Yuri's My Job and compared to the senpai in Whispering Me a Love Song? That's the comparison I'm getting at. But please, go watch Whis I mean, go watch Yuri is My Job. You're going to love it. Hands down. Hands down. Go watch Yuri's My Job. Okay, now back to what I was saying. So she don't know what club she goes to, but then she goes to the cooking club. And this adorable character named Modoka. 
Madoka turn. I mean, like she joined. She he already has no part in the cooking club, but she joined the cooking club because you know not much, not much to do. So she joined the cooking club with this with this girl named Madoka John. You know, I mean Monica, Monica. I don't, I'm not giving names, but my point is she meets an adorable character, an adorable new character approach, and they start you know practicing cooking. Now, Himari has told Yori, and then you look at Yori, she's like, you see Himari talking about, oh, I met this senpai, she's a second year, but she's a third year, and Yori's so jealous that a sen that she's whipped someone in a club. Now, and I get it, I get it. This is the first time Yori experiencing jealousy, because again, she loves Himari, but she never felt like, you going out with some guy? I mean, you going out with some, I'm sorry. You going out with another, you in class... With, a, with another woman, I don't know if I feel, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just cringy about it. I'm just so cringy, I don't know if I wanna see that. And now, again, Yori is so in the thought of, I don't know, what if she, what if she might have a, a something, what if she has, I mean, what if she likes Himari, you know? And that's the jealousy kicking in in her. Like, the romance is strong, especially with the jealousy. That's what it is. It's always a romance vibe when it comes to jealousy, and that's what it is. She is completely jealous because she um, she just felt that Himari is going to leave her. Now, okay. 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 Let me talk about this character, Aki Senpai. Let me, let me talk about this girl. The girl that's the Himari's friend, big sister, let me talk about this character. You know, I, I, I liked her. I fucking liked her, guys. I really did. I really did. I, I, I thought she was supporting Yori in Himari's relationship. Like, like in, in romance, you gotta have that person to be the wingman, a wingwoman. You, you, you gotta be that. Just like with the girlfriend. I mean, with Chizu and Kazuya, you got Mini, who is the wing woman. You know what I mean? It's like that. So now I'm looking at Aki. Aki, the Himari sister's big sister at the time. I'm looking at her that's do guitar, the guitarist of the band. I'm thinking to myself, okay, she's a wing woman. She's going to support this. When she came home, Himari, well, start off. Let me go back. Himari went to her friend's house, you know, because she baked some banana, red, banana uh, bread. And I like banana bread. Anybody got a problem with that? Just go, go screw yourself. Because I like banana pudding. I like banana pudding. I like banana bread. I like that. Anyway, back to what I was saying. She made some, you know, just to... I thought she was going to make some for her. I mean, for um for Yori. But she did it as an experiment. Oh. I am so lost in thought. I forgot. We got a new character now. I forgot her name. I'm not good with names. Oh, she's that blue-haired girl that went to the cooking club to meet her meet Madoka. She has, you know, she's in a band too, but we're gonna see her later on. We're gonna see her later on. But back to what I was saying. We uh, she went to a friend's house to taste some of her uh, banana bread, but she she got a call in for another club and she left. And then Aki Sushi comes in, she's like, Oh, oh, she's not here. Okay. She told Himari straight in the face. Four episodes in this. And Aki just said, Listen, Himari, I love Akko. I mean, I love uh, Yori. Not as a friend, but I love her in real life. So don't butt it. I'm like, Yo. Yo. Talk about a love triangle. Oh my God. And the thing is, I, I didn't even, I, I'm, I'm dead ass. I never read it. But I'm dead ass. I did never suspected her to be in this love triangle suspect, like, suspense thing. I never would have thought that. I thought it was going to be that girl from the cooking club. I thought it was her. At least her. But her? Aki the, from the band? The, 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 the bass guitarist? I did not suspect that. I, I swear, I didn't expect that. She's the, I, I, I bet, she, I, to me, she was like the fourth person in my mind, but I didn't think of that. I really didn't think that. I think that. I thought it was going to be Himari's best friend. 
I thought it was going to be maybe the girl from the cooking club or the other girl that we saw that's earlier. But Aki, Aki just came out and told him, I love Yori, not as a friend. And then told her straight in the face, you just, not, not, in, her, not in her words, but I'm using it in my words. Why you butt out? You, you, if you don't love her, then butt out. And I'm like, oh my God. That's, she put it, 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 it's a love war now. This is war. Love is war. Love is war. That's what it is. And it's, oh my God, I'm feeling it. I'm fucking feeling it. Oh God. Oh God. You know, this today's episode of Your Minds, guys, is really getting spicy. Really getting spicy and really getting that cliffhanger thing. Oh my god. Now, props for them. Props for them giving them props props for us giving us a reference to Yuri is my job, which is one of the greatest, one of most many Yuri animes. You gotta read it. I love it. But for them to give us a pot sterling all this with, with Aki saying, I love Yuri. Now the claws comes out. The stage is set. The love is war and the love triangle is set in motion. This is going to be a fucking war. I can't wait for next week's episode. Too bad I can't do it on Saturday because of work. But damn, I'm looking forward to it on Sunday on Mother's Day. And I kid you not. If I have time. But anyway, but you guys get my point. So anyway, I look forward for next week's episode of it. And it's going to get spicier by the second. I'm looking forward to it. So stay tuned next week.